this video is not sponsored by Aqua Flask. <laughs> All right, what's up everyone? It's your boy Renzi Benzi and today we're going to make another reaction video and this time it's all about Supernova 2022, the national selection of Latvia. Now I have to be honest, I am not really a fan of Latvia because every time I watch Eurovision Song Contest, I don't really give so much attention to that country because I've been watching Eurovision for the past few years and they haven't had any entries that got stuck in my head. Like, it's always... Whenever it's Eurovision season, I always look forward to powerhouse countries like Sweden, Australia, Norway, Ukraine, what else? Those are like one of the countries that I always look for because they always send amazing songs. But around like 1.30 in the morning before I went to sleep last night, um, I was browsing TikTok, so it's like everyone does that. Yeah, I would dive into a rabbit hole and then I just came across this video from Supernova 2022. Apparently they had their natural finals last night or two days ago and this song has apparently gathered a lot of comments both good and bad so i always take these comments with a grain of salt but i don't know there's so much love and hate at the comment section so i got here so i'm just going to give it a try reacting to it and let's see how bad it is or is it the other way around let's find out airports ready here we go so the title of the song is Eat Your Salad by City Zenning, which is the winner of the Supernova 2022. All right, let's get started. Hello. Oh. Instead of meat, I eat veggies. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are they serious about it? Okay. It's fun to watch so far. This is very entertaining to watch. Although I was, I was caught off guard by the opening lyrics. Like, really? It gives it gives you this vibe of like early two thousands. Yeah. And all of them are like color coordinated, so the yellow is like the mustard, the white is the Caesar salad, <laughs> and the rest of the guys are greens that you typically found on your salad. Yeah, it's cool when you eat your salad, except when it has a lot of hidden sexual innuendos. <laughs> but this is crazy, I mean like crazy good. Oh. I'm not sure if he's playing saxophone while dancing or not. Well, we'll do some research about it, but it's fun. <laughs> mm, saving the planet sexy AF. I have to agree with that. <laughs> Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, so I don't really understand why some people on the internet hated it. Like, I've been reading a lot of comments, like, example, they're so ashamed of being a Latvian for like a day or two. I was like, 
I thought it was really bad, but it wasn't. Like if you compare other Latvian entries, like especially last year. Last year was not really my my kind of thing, not really my cup of tea. But this one is way better compared to to the previous entries of Latvia at the Eurovision Song Contest. Although maybe because I'm not sure, I haven't watched some entries at the Supernova 2022, but. I think some entries there are quite serious, and most people think that this kind of entry is just a joke. And they were they got insulted because this one won the contest. So I'm not sure. It is just my own opinion. I had to to watch other entries as well, so as to make a point. But then again, this is just my initial reaction. So you always have to take that with a grain of salt. But this entry, however, it's it's fun. You know, I mean, yes, there are a lot of like sexual innuendos, especially at first I was really caught off guard by it, but you know, it's, it just really depends on how you interpret that song because based on that song, gave it like an interpretation like a cat, not the, um, the, uh, the other way around. So yeah, it's all about having fun at stage, having a great stage presence, although I think they're going to make some improvements within the staging at Turin, but Here's the thing, there's no rule in Eurovision that you have to have songs that contains a lot of emotions or you need to have like songs that tackles about love, about friendship or any other um, sensitive stuff. Although politics is highly discouraged, but you know, it doesn't have to be like that. All you have to do is, is to have fun, you know, like there's no need to interpret everything. You just have to have fun because that's one of the main goals of Eurovision to unite people through music. And this is still quality music. I mean, yes, it may not be my cup of tea. I won't add that on my playlist on Spotify and Apple Music because that's not my kind of music every time I go to travel or in transit or if I go to gym. No, definitely not. But this is one of the videos that I would always watch on YouTube. Because it's fun, like, I don't know, I mean, I don't need any kind of explanation about this video because it's a great representative of Latvia in my own opinion, so I, I don't really understand the hate behind this video. So, do you think City Zeni deserves to be the representative of Latvia this coming Eurovision Song Contest 2022 or not? Well, let me know your thoughts at the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts from you guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons, as well as the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to know that I have new content here on YouTube. Once again, this is Ya Boy Renzi Benzi saying adios amigos, stay safe, bye bye.